Hey folks, welcome to Testing Hacks. In this video, we will understand what is a switch statement in Java. Before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Let's begin. Switch statement allows us to execute a particular block of code among many alternatives. Okay. Suppose say you have multiple alternatives. In case of a switch board, let's say we have a switchboard where you will see uh, we will be having multiple switches right and then you want only one uh, this particular switch to be on at that time what you will do is you will turn on that particular switch remaining others uh, you are not worried of or you will concentrate only on one true case okay then only that particular light will get on so in switch statement as well it works in the same way you know if you have many options and you just want only one of the case which is true needs to be picked up among multiple statements then you have to go ahead for the switch statement in case of nested if else also we can do achieve this but still it looks very uh, clear picture when it when we write it through the switch statement the expression is evaluated once and compared with the values of each case if the expression matches with value 1 the code of the case value 1 are executed similarly the code of the case value 2 is executed if the expression matches the value 2 if there is no match the code of the default case is executed let's see the uh, syntax of it see this is how the switch statement syntax looks like so switch statement expression will be there after evaluating this expression it will come to the case one if the value of case one matches then it will execute this piece of code if it do not match then it will break and then it will come into the second statement and if this condition matches then it will print this particular case otherwise it will skip and then how many ever cases are there until it finds the right match it will verify if nothing is matching then it will go to the last block which is the default block and this default state default block will be executed when no matches is found okay let's see it through an example let's create a new file or a new uh, class let's name it as switch uh, statement okay and we will check this checkbox and we'll click on finish so now what we have to do is first let's declare a string called colors okay then for this color, I'll assign a value called red. So now, let's say we have multiple colors, say red, white, blue, green, many colors are there. But I want the red case to be executed or whenever there is a color called red, then I want that specific case to be executed or that particular block of code to be executed. Let's see how to do that switch is the keyword to do that and then switch we will say the expression as color okay whenever the case is uh, whenever it passes the color red then we want this red case to be executed okay so let's say case mm, hello is one particular statement so let's print saying that system dot auto print ln and then uh, let's print in that case this is hello okay whenever the case is hello then this particular statement needs to be executed okay and we will break it in the same way we will write for multiple colors let's take an example of uh, red here and then in that case it should print the red okay and the case is 
pink then this block should be executed or if the case is oh, black then this block should be executed okay so now whatever we have passed is red correct so let's execute this yeah you can see that this is red this particular block got executed and also it found the match okay now let's do an experiment and another case we forgot to write which is a default block correct so it is a default case in that case we want this particular block to be executed which will say no match is found this is optional okay okay so here let's pass um, orange so what we are expecting is we are expecting the default block to be executed correct but what if if i remove a particular block i just want the pink to be selected now okay let's execute this particular block okay this is pink this uh, piece of code got executed and now what i will do is i just want and remove this break statement what is our expectation now what will happen if i do not uh, put this break then what will happen let's see what did it print it printed this is pink and this is black and this is default this case these three cases it executed why because the match is found here so it will print this block and also continuously it will execute the remaining block so because of the break statement it won't break this particular case here itself to break that particular piece of uh, statement then and there itself we will have to use this break statement okay we'll have to add this break statement so now it will uh, execute only one matching case this is pink only this particular block got executed so this is how the switch statement works if you have liked this video please do like the video share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye